What's going on my friends and welcome back. We are playing Monk and Blade 2 Banalore as a Griff the insane. We actually are actually purchasing some stuff over here. I did have a few fights as you can see. My guys are hurt. I am hurt. Little we can do. Let's make sure that we get a good loadout for this. We have some looters that are interested in joining my party, but you know what we'll do with those. Give me your money. Yes. So, in the tavern, there is uh, also the wronged. Interesting. Truly interesting. Now, I was kind of hoping to show you a, a bit more that we were a bit further into the game. But I had a few unfortunate accidents, so, so we say. Because I actually managed to um, actually deal with the group of uh, mountain, um, mountain bandits, but... Oh my, <laughs> they were not taking that lightly. That was a very, very unfortunate. If you're going to chase in my way, I might as well just go after you and take you down. Although I might not have the uh, the strength to do so, we'll have our troops and we'll make sure that you will remember the name Griff. Yes, because Griff is a very, very common name there. Of course, yes, why not? Uh, archers, let's get onto the hill. Infantry move forward. I really am enjoying how the um, how you can actually place your troops around. It looks so much better than it used to. Go there, infantry, go there. So I'll try to stay a bit in the background because I'm quite hurt already. Of course, saying that, I'll probably charge in because that is um, how I usually end up dying. Give them hell, indeed. And while they are getting hell, we'll try to um, shoot some guys in the back. And hopefully not lose too many of our trips. Oh wow, that's my own guy. Okay, let's uh, not help. <laughs> let's not help, for sure. Okay, we can actually do this one thing. Enemies are fleeing. Yes, I know. I, uh, no! No, you bastard! There you go. You took that one like a man. Well, not really. He tried to run away. So, let us continue. Let's see, because we might get a few stuff. But we are very, very much over our weight limit. Oh, yeah, because we lost some troops, which is highly unfortunate. Luckily for us, we are very much near a town. We need some more horses. Yeah, that's for sure. And yes, yeah, Poros. Let's go over there. Because, oh my, we are definitely slowed down. 3.6. Let's go and trade. And the beer, of course, is uh, way better. Can we just uh, do it like that? Yes, thank you. And the clay. Yay. 1200. That I like. That I like. All the fish I keep. The oil. It's um, cheap here over here. So we'll not uh, get rid of those. As for all of this stuff, well, there's no point in keeping it. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll smelt these two items, lock the fish, and you are not a consumable, so... Um, yeah, you'll just stay in my inventory then. Speaking of which... Wow, 81? And it is a 101 over here. Hmm, sounds fishy, or then. Let's at least make sure we sell all of that. We're now 1,500, so we're doing a good job in, in getting some pocket money. Yes, we'll call it pocket money. And there is Joran the, Port, the Potter. Yo, that might be interesting. We'll have a look at that. Let's enter the smithy. We'll have no charcoal. How much do we need? We need two. So, one, two. Smelf, you. And we'll actually get a few... Other skills than that, we got six hardwood now, we got some crude oil and crude oren and rot oren. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. <laughs> but then again, that's nothing new. I would like to get myself a two-handed weapon once we actually can do this. Why buy if you can actually craft it? Now I know, I know, there is um, some thoughts about the crafting system. And yes, okay, I can I can see, you're, you're right, some of the items are absolutely horrible and you would never use them. But I just like the idea that you actually can flip your stuff into better stuff. I like that, better stuff, yes. Let's uh, heal up. 
We have four days of food. And I would like to go to the next town and maybe increase this um, trade trade route of ours. Um, let's see. What, else, what, else, what are the other? Okay, so we could go over to Vortum as well, Orna, and they actually all have different banners. So would they be considered other factions? Let's see. This is the clan. Oh, yes. You actually have different clans in an empire, which is... Very cool. I, I do have to say that. I really like that. Eight looters. Well, no, I'm still not healed up and three of my guys are still wounded. So let's go over here. Let's, um... Oh, we can actually get ourselves an Imperial Archer over here. Nineteen. Well, let's just take them because most of them will eventually die. Let's face that. Let's go over here. Oh, the grain is really cheap. Look at that. You can sell them for 13. Now that's 4. And with our current money, that would be... Let's see, 590. 450. Something like that. Come on now. So that would be 51 for 9. Which we could sell for 13. That's 4. 4 cents. 4 cents. So that's 40... Times 5, 4 times 5 is 20, it's 200 profit. And now that doesn't sound too badly, doesn't it? However, clay, clay is way more expensive. And this would fetch me 8. And we could carry about the same volume. This would be way better, way better. Ooh, days of food. Hmm. Keep it over there. And let's get some cheap grain then. Now, luckily we'll eat most of it. So, that would be fine. Let's make sure that the grain is locked. And this is locked as well. Because we might be selling it otherwise. And I don't want to. So, we're going to be paying 635. And we'll leave the potter for what it is right now. Actually, where do we plan on selling this poros capacity has been um, over extended which is okay poros oh it's of course the the, the 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 larger the trip more the more profit that you will get yes that's of course how we do that and we'll get more healing actually let's take a look in here oh wow i actually did level up wasn't aware of that so, with a bow full, we could also go for a tiny bit of trade. Making profits from trading. Operate caravans. So, trade penalty reduces by 2.2. We'll actually make more profit. Let's at least get one point into that. And, let's see. Intelligence represents the attitude of reading and theoretically learning skills that are bound to intelligence. Makes it easier to learn. Bound skills and also raise their learning limit. Interesting. So, I would actually benefit a lot. So, let's take a look here. So, if we do this. Okay, so yeah, it did increase. And also, a tiny bit more experience. I quite like that idea. Let's get trade back. And here we go. Let's continue. 10 looters. Ooh, 10 looters. How is my weight? Because some of my troops are still hurt. And my weight is now 610. So, we could just deal with these 10 looters. Have a bit of fun along the way. And chase them down into this river point where there's no point of return. <laughs> I really like those. Um, if it wasn't for the terrain, it would be such a chase. Such a chase, I tell you. Now, we're getting more archers, and I really, really enjoy the archers. Go here. Uh, we don't have any, any shield wall at the moment that we could perform. We could tell them to. We could also do them square. And there's actually nothing that is changing. Oh, actually, yes, there is. Oh, wait. Uh, let's go free. Yeah, they can't form a wall. Hey. 
Okay, this is a new way of uh, all of that, I guess. Go. Oh, I shot him in. Oh man, I'm all, I'm 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 so sorry, sir. <laughs> that might leave a scar. Oh boy. Uh, so far, so good though. I will have my troops mainly fighting because remember, this is all unrealistic. One bad mistake on my behalf and we'll end this uh, this series and I would not like that. So we can... is it four troops that can be upgraded? Yeah, let's get four infantry then. Just so we'll have a bit of shields in the front line. Like, why not? Let's see, we got some more grain, we got some more fish and some other junk. Well, this might even be better. Oh, this definitely is better. There's a bit less in leg armor, but still. It's way... But look at that! That looks absolutely fantastic! I am really impressed. I, I will give you that. I'm really impressed. And the longer the game is uh, is on, uh, on early release, the more fixes that are done, the, the better it all becomes. Can we actually see the amount of... Um, of which we bought this clay for. Yeah, we bought it for 11, yes. That's what we did. So we'll probably still make a profit of 6. So that's 350. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm way too distracted by these looter parties of 10. It's good experience, so... Might as well just chase them down and get close to Poros. Which we currently are not. Let's go over here, let's go to trade. And let's just... I don't think I can smelt these. No, because that's uh, that doesn't require a smithy skill. 19! 19, guys! I keep... Uh, there was a, um, a cell, right? Yes, here we go. So we're making a thousand of that. I like that. I quite like that quite a bit. And hopefully, let us uh, see... Do you have some other horses? A mule. A mule will definitely increase our trade cap capability, but not really what I'm looking for. So we'll just do it like that. We got 16 already, and I believe that one of our quests here, rebuilding our clan, requires us to have 2,000 dinar, and a party size of 20, and more renown. We also need to hire a companion. But first things first, and then we'll just see about the rest. Uh, we also have this... Um, Natives fully, but um, we'll just... I think we can come across them. Actually, no. Okay, that, that's a lot. I know that we will come across them. Um, around Trevelin. I also would like to go towards Vortum. And now the speed is still 3.6 because we're in the woods. Oh man, look at these bridges. Nice. I like them. Let's see. 4.4, 5.1, yeah, that doesn't look too good for you. I'm actually hoping the 8 would join, uh, but they didn't. Now, hopefully this fight is not going to be as dark. We could auto-resolve it. We could, we can auto-resolve this, um, but that will just leave me with a lot of casualties. Uh, I will just attack them. Oh, uh, we're actually quite on a very nice position here. And uh, my dogs are absolutely getting insane. Can you actually see them? Let's go get in the front. Okay, let them have their way. A check. So, let's get out. Come on. I'm not sure if I'm hitting my own guys or not. Uh, but we actually did win. And uh, not thanks to me. <laughs> it's thanks to my troops being, carrying me all the way. And we actually have one... One... Wounded fella. I'm not going to take the Empire troops. Even though they are just peasants. And we'll get... With four archers and three infantry. 
We'll just keep them 50-50 for now because I don't need my trip to be too large. Uh, we got some cheese. I like my cheese. And we can actually sell this in Porus for 48 as well. Oh my. I like that. Uh, the cheese is a consumable. We might as well keep that. The salt, however, isn't. So why not? Let us go back on the road. And continue. Let's see. What do we have to trade around here? Ooh, there's a nice ass looking sword. Yeah, let's not worry about this just yet. Let's not. Let's just make sure that we get more salt by the looks of it. It will double the price. What else would be nice? Hmm. It's only the salt, actually. Oh, that's so salty. Oh, well. Uh, let's get this. So, 27 and we can sell for 48. If we can buy up towards 31. Let's just get towards our cap here. 590. That's a bit too much. We have food for 4 days. We're going to be paying 1300, which is a... Very, very large sum, uh, but we can actually make a good return on this, so why the hell not? Let's go back to Poros, since, well, that is what we have been doing all the time. And let's see, oh, oh so this is the, uh, the salt mines then, because they will just save the water over there until it dries. I um, would actually be very interested if more parties would be attacking you. Because you have a pretty nice loadout. Now we need to save up around 13 or 15k. Just so we can have a very nice looking trade route. Oh yes, this is very, very nice. Do it all the way like that. 1700. And let's get all of this stuff away from here as well. Oh yeah, look at that. Yes. And that should fulfill the 2000 dinar. We need two more recruits, a bit more renown, and I think it is time that we get ourselves our very first. I was actually looking if there was, so let's get this. Oh, wait a minute, we can sell our prisoners. Let's go to the Miss Longknife over here. And see if she does. She is so tiny. <laughs> hey, I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. My name is Griff, ma'am. Tell me about yourself. Pour yourself a drink, stranger. I'll tell you all you need to know, because that's what we do to strangers. How... W um, let's see. How would I put it? I guess I'd say I'm a lady who's gotten a reputation for doing a man's work better than the man. I guess I'm a bit of a rarity. <laughs> that's not true. Although, that's a bit of a surprise to me. You won't find me passing out in a straw in my own vom- wow you won't find me passing out in the straw of my own vomit damn that's uh, that's no wonder i can couldn't pronounce that wow ma'am please don't do that when needed for a task you won't have to bribe the guards to get me out of a cell because i got a fight on my way to work okay instead of instead for my fee I'll make sure those who need protection are protected, and those who need to die are dead. Oh yes, it's so hard to find the battle fighters these days. Anyways, you come across a chief. Uh, you come across as as a chief who needs a reliable sword in his warband. So you let me know. Well, I, I will. Sure, I'll pay you your insane amount, and it's all my profit so far. But we got ourselves a a companion. So let's get out of the uh, the tavern over here. Before I, uh, I'm going to drink away my sorrows of paying 655. And we now need to make sure we get a profit again. Let's see. Character. So Miss Longknife. Well hello. You could use a skill point in archery. Because it actually reached the cap. If you see it reaching the cap, just to make sure you get 
some points in that. And by the looks of it, yes, C would be a very reliable fighter. 8 in Vigor, so give her a, uh, a two-handed and give her like a bow or a throwing weapon, a horse and a polearm. And she could be your very, very nice cavalry, your charger. I'm quite happy about her, actually. <laughs> Let's go to... Oh, actually, that's the wrong one. I need to go to my inventory. I don't have stuff for you. Hmm. Actually... I'll give you a horse. Your kingdom for a horse, they say. Right? So we got our very first companion, lads. Thank you. Thank you all for participating again in the third episode of this uh, series. Hopefully it will be a long one. And uh, we'll just uh, do a bit of trading off camera for you. And hopefully we'll get those 2,000 denied back. And get some, some gear here for the miss. And um, next time we'll uh, just continue on our way and hopefully do a few quests. As for now, thank you once again for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.